welcome back to Nationwide. Well, I couldn't come to Loch Gur and not spend some time on the water. And over in that direction, about 400 metres from the shore of the lake, is the Grange Stone Circle. Will we head that way, Liam? Well, I've come to the prehistoric Grange Stone Circle, which is located about 400 metres from the lakeshore. However, when it was constructed some 5,000 years ago, the lake was much closer. Frank, can you tell me why this area has been designated a place of outstanding archaeological importance? If you took a helicopter view of the lake and drew a circle two kilometres wide, Within that area, you have almost 50 recorded monuments, and they make up Neolithic houses, which are incredibly rare, about 5,000 years old, standing stones from the Bronze Age, a wedge tomb from the Bronze Age, and stone circles. And there are many or several stone circles of which Grange B is the biggest, the largest in the country, and the most important. Okay, so let's go have a look. So walking in towards the entrance, this is the formal processional route that in prehistory the original users would have taken into the circle and as you approach you touch and reach the two portal stones which are dramatically big and impressive and they lead us into this magnificent space unparalleled anywhere else in the country in terms of its size. And what you have before you is the largest interior stone circle space in the country. And from a radius of about 25 metres from the centre point, it describes almost two hectares of a space. And what we're doing here is standing in a raised platform. And the incredible archaeological excavations that occurred in the past show us that this is an artificially raised surface compared to the topography outside by about half a metre. And I calculated this morning, nearly 3,000 tonnes of gravelly clay were brought in here by hand uh, in the Neolithic 5,000 years ago to create this almost perfectly level circular space. And Frank, tell me about this stone, maybe a boulder, but it's clearly the biggest stone in the entire circle. What's its significance? It's not for want of argument that they call it a megalith a big stone. And when you look at it from this distance, you can see that it is in scale, dominates everything else in the circle. And if I move up to it, Anne, mm -hmm. and I just do this for scale, you get the idea of how large it is. And you have 25 tonnes of volcanic breccia. It's a fine grained stone. That in new money is 16 modern cars in terms of dead weight. And Frank, what does it actually mean? Well, first of all, think of the labour to get it here. It's known to have come from Grange Hill, which is about a mile or 1,500 metres to the north. Think of the effort required to move such a stone over a mile down to here. And I have no doubt that in ritual terms it would have been revered because of its sheer bulk. Frank, here we are right in the centre of the stone circle and what was the purpose of this space 5,000 years ago? When I look at this circular space, the first point I come to of importance is the centre point. And in archaeological terms and in sort of prehistoric cultures, the centre of anything is the centre of the world. It is the cosmic axis of the whole space. And ritually, I think this would have been a place where people gathered in the surrounding area, looking in on, and we have to imagine, perhaps, rituals and ceremonies which were conducted throughout the year. When I look at a circle, I see mirrored in the circle the rim of the horizon, which is also circular, and extended up into the heavens, you have the dome of the sky. And that leads into something really important, cosmology. And tell me about your own uh, initiative, picking up on that theme, uh, in terms of the dark skies. To advance the dark sky qualities of this area, and it is incredibly dark, 
We now have an initiative to attain dark sky designation for Loch Gur, and this is fabulous and exciting. One of the products I developed for the Loch Gur Development Board was a digital model of the circle inserted into a planetarium software package and that allows me to situate myself in prehistory at the time the circle was built, earlier than 2500 BC. Compared to now, the prehistoric viewer of the sky would have seen more than five to 6,000 stars and the Milky Way with incredible brightness. So that would have been an amazing wonderment and an amazing sight. Compared to today, but although Loch Gur is very dark and the application for a dark sky designation hopefully will keep it dark.